And we got light. Hey, everybody. How you doing? I'm doing real good. Um, yeah, I'm just a big old copycatter. <laughs> Can't help it. Well, when I see something cool, I gotta try it. So I've seen Mixed Media Girl uh, do a uh, wreck a ring, it's called. I'm sure some of you may have seen it. And Molly's Artistry has actually created it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put her link in my description of her wreck a ring, Molly's. And then also I'll put um, Mixed Media Girl's link in my description of hers. Okay. So I'm going to give it a try. Um, I have a 12 by 12 here. I had to put my sticks on today because I'm using the pre-mixed, um, ready mixed pouring paint, artist loft. Okay. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try that. I bet it would be awesome using regular, uh, acrylics too, just because you get some cells when you mix, mix up stuff. So I have done this before many times and I do most of the time when I do a puddle pour, I will get in there and wreck it up, you know, with my finger uh, or a stick or whatever. But I get cells when I use the regular acrylic. But you won't on this one because this is uh, the artist loft. Okay, so and that's what I'm going to do is start. So I did notice... Very important to shake this stuff. We'll mix it up. Maybe shake it and then an hour later use it. And I can do that. So I have to pop some bubbles. They don't, the bubbles don't pop real easy on their own either. <laughs> At least forget something. Oh, man. But yeah, I would wait. Let them calm down. But shake them up because they too kind of tend I notice on my bulbs if they're not shook you can tell all right so titanium white Yeah, <laughs> I'm convincing myself, even though I'm not too sure. Because I always go over at least two ounces. No, no, we're going to get some green. I never can stay real good with my circles. There we go. So I just completely wrecked the ring, didn't I? Hey, hey, hey. 
I sure did. <laughs> That's kind of bad. It's always fun when they do puddle pour. Because they come out looking pretty. This one might be a little dark on the dark side because of that red and the, you know. Oh, we'll see, won't we? Oh, my stick was not in good enough, so it just popped off. I haven't been using my sticks. Sorry if I wasn't under the camera skin or the camera, but this is pretty. This is going to be awesome. I'm glad I used a lot of white. There we go. That's cool. Yeah. Just reminds me of a puddle pour, but now it's got even more coolness going on. So I'm going to stretch this over a little. And bring this over. Try to get that centered more. Get all those defined lines. But I feel like I want to just kind of work with that a little bit over there. Just a little bit off right here. Because it doesn't need to be real thick. Because it is pretty thick. And over here. Now I'm going to center it back. In the middle. That's cooler. I like it a lot better. Right on. That's going to be neat. Whoa, that's so cool. That was fun. Okay, so let me torch it. I gotta get my torch though. Hold on. So I've turned this every way and I cannot decide. I've really turned it like four times. Can't decide which way I like it better. <laughs> kind of funny. Yeah, I can't decide. So I just picked this way, <laughs> but I love it. I love the deepness in this, and this is gonna dry like this. That's what's really awesome. Let's take a look at it. That's beautiful. Good colors too. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. I love this technique. Just totally reminds me of my pedal pours when I do them. I really love them. But this one's neater because it's got those fine lines. Look at this area right here. Look at that. Those lines in there. Oh my gosh, on the edge. There's hundreds of them. Ah, I love it. <laughs> All right, so this stuff is sticky. I swear it's so sticky. Okay, so I'm going to get a, a quote I have. Here we go. Remind yourself every day, I am in charge of my happiness. I will not let anything outside of myself control me. I am creating a life that feels good on the inside and will turn into experiences that are good on the outside. That's it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. 
Oh, I was going to show you my little wooden cart. I love it. So I don't know if it's showing up at all yet still, too, because that thing just gave me a hard time. But it's all dry. Now you can see the wood in it. And I'm going to resin that to make that white pop up. I think it's going to be pretty then. I like it. Put it on my refrigerator. <laughs> all righty. I do have a lot of paintings to show, all my dry paintings that I have not been showing. Um, I'll be doing that uh, after my next video because I got more Christmas ornaments to be done tomorrow. Yeah, I got lots of them. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.